Hi everyone! So today I have another swap video. I actually swapped with one of my good friends, Sarah, from England. So I have the box right here and I'm so tired right now. <laughs> I went to the Paul McCartney concert yesterday and yeah, it was amazing. And I'm gonna have a vlog very, very soon about it. I'm actually going to work in like an hour or so or less than an hour or so we have to get this show started <laughs> so as I said before this swap is with my good friend Sarah we actually met through Twitter which <laughs> a lot of my friends started on the internet but um yeah we met through Twitter I think four or five years ago I was either a sophomore or a freshman no sophomore or junior in college I don't remember because I use the internet a lot. <laughs> so we did this swap, unfortunately. I haven't met her in person, but I do know we have a friend in common. So yes, hopefully I will meet Sarah very soon so we can go shopping because I know she loves makeup just as much as I do. <laughs> so yeah, we have the box right here. She already got my package as well and she's gonna do a blog post about it. So I will link her blog post down below in the information box for you to check out. And let's start opening this box. <laughs> first thing on this letter is the collection lip butter she says that they're brand new I picked a beautiful hydrating shiny shade plus it's very pigmented and super affordable <laughs> it's really great for those days you want intense color but your lips are dry as mm. <laughs> sorry about the condition I explained that to you already but I chucked in a couple of Charlotte Tilbury lipstick samples to make up for it hope you forgive me of course I will forgive you <laughs> Okay, so we have to find collection lip butter and this is the collection lip butter right here and we have the Charlotte <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury. Oh my god, I can't talk um, Samples right here in the little cute envelope. Oh my god. This is so cute So, okay, this is a collection lip butter and I'm oops. I ruined it <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. It's still good but um, let's swatch it really quick. My coworker's gonna be like, why do you have so many things swatched? That is, that is really good. That felt really like creamy and smooth and man, I wish I wasn't wearing a bold eye color today. I would have just worn this out <laughs> to work today. But I'm gonna wear this definitely tomorrow. The next two products that Sarah sent me are the Collection Cream Puff. She says that I bought these mainly because I was very, very intrigued. This seemed like total dupes slash ripoffs <laughs> of the NYX matte lip creams and obviously have similar claims. I like them a lot because they're comfortable and affordable, but unfortunately, they only come in four colors and two of them are nice. So she sent me two of them, which I'm very, very thankful for, and the colors are really nice. This shade right here is Fairy Cake, and it actually reminds me of one of the NYX ones that I own. I don't remember if it's... San Paulo or I don't know I forgot but I think it's Antwerp actually Antwerp so it looks very similar and this one is a really like um I would say kind of a cooler tone this looks definitely looks more coral than this one and this color is cotton candy which is a very pretty <laughs> pretty name for this so let me swatch cotton candy for you oh yeah this looks like cotton candy it is a really lovely pink shade right here and let me swatch this one which is fairy cake oh my god fairy cake that sounds weird is it actually like a dessert or i don't know <laughs> and this one is a coral so these two are the colors that she sent me both of them feel they they've swatched exactly the same as the NYX one so I think they're gonna be very very similar I'm definitely gonna be testing these out and both of these colors are really really great so thank you once again I am so excited the next thing in this box is actually the thing I requested from Sarah and it is this one <laughs> it is the Max Factor Miracle Touch Creamy Blush and I requested this because I've seen it so many times on Lily Pebbles channel and uh, also on her blog so I was like oh my god I want to try this and I know Max Factor is owned by the same people as CoverGirl or they have a lot of the same products but um, CoverGirl does not have a cream blush so I was just like can you please get it for me <laughs> and she did so I finally have one of these and Sarah says 
that I've, she's never used this before, but out of all the shades, I think this was the prettiest and most wearable. They only have one left in this shade, otherwise I would have bought one for myself. So this is the shade Soft Pink, and it's a soft pink. <laughs> Let me swatch. I'm, I'm in a swatchy mood today. As I said, I went to the concert yesterday, so I'm in like a really, really good mood. So it is a really nice color. It's right here. So as the name says, it is a soft pink. <laughs> it felt very pigmented. I mean, very pigmented. It felt very soft and creamy. And hopefully it dries. Hopefully it will kind of dry to like a matte finish because I do have oily skin So I'm not sure how it's gonna work on me, but I'm curious The next product that Sarah sent me is this one and I have tried the bronzer But I haven't tried the highlight and I know Amelia Liana has been talking about this so much So I'm like, oh my god <laughs> So this is the Delice de Poudre Duo and it has a bronzing powder and also highlight and it looks like this well it looks like this. <laughs> so it looks like this. So you have the bronzer, then you have the highlight right here. Both of them look like chocolate, but if it was actually food, I would be more excited about this because it looks like white chocolate. So she says, this stuff is awesome, brand new, and smells like chocolate, which is extra awesome. I think it's a great drugstore contour kit for going out if you want your face to look bombing. <laughs> Also a good drugstore dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury film star Bronze and Glow. I know you have oily skin, but this should present no problem and it looks really dewy on the skin once you blend it out. So I am excited to try it out and I will let you know if I like it. I probably am. I mean, I love the bronzer and I'm sure the highlight is just as beautiful as the bronzer. So I'm excited to try this out. I'm super excited. I'm just like... <sighs> The next product that Sarah sent me is actually a product that Bon sent me, but she sent me a completely different shade. Like, it's like a 180, basically. So this is the Bourgeois Lip Velvet, and this one is in 01. Let's see what the color is. Okay, it's in French. It's the Personne Rouge. <laughs> it is a red one, so it is a... Oh, I love reds. I am just like, oh my god, <laughs> already without even trying it out. And she says that these are so lovely and creamy. I couldn't remember the shade Bon sent me because I wanted to give you a pinky one, but I got you this Hollywood Red instead. Maybe you could do a video comparing this to the Sephora Matte Lip Cream. Giving you free ideas. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> so I think I have to do a whole video just dedicated to like matte, like creamy matte lip colors because I have the NYX ones, then now I have the collection ones and the Sephora matte lip cream, then I also got one from Born Pretty, and then I have another one which I haven't mentioned, it's the Stila Stay All Day lip color or something like that. So I have like five different ones, so I definitely need to sit down one of these days and film a video about like the soft matte lip colors. There's, that's a really weird idea but I don't even know what I'm saying I need to sit down and compare all of those because they're very similar products all the different types of uh, price ranges so yeah enough talking about my video ideas I need to talk about this and I already opened it right now <laughs> so I can I'm ready to swatch as I said oh man oh man look at that beautiful I am excited to wear this and yeah, it has the same scent as the other one. And the next product that Sarah sent me is the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder. She said that she loves this because it's so smooth and mattifying without making you look like a weird-ass Barbie. <laughs> I thought it would be perfect for you considering your oily skin. Plus, we all know Bourjois Foundation is really great. Or pretty great, that's what she said. Um, and it looks like this. So I haven't tried this whatsoever. I am super excited. And it looks like this from the inside. So just a little... A little powder right here, mirror right here, you can see yourself, hello. And it is in the shade 52 Vanilla, which is what I use in Bourjois, uh, Bourjois Foundation. So I'm very, very excited. It says 10 hours, matte finish, and natural healthy glow. Yes, yes, I'm all about the matte, all about the healthy glow, all about all of that. <laughs> What is this? What is this? I completely skipped over one of the things that she sent me and it's this. It's right over here. Oh my god, I am derping out of control. So she sent me the Collection Little Mix eyeshadow palette and I've heard Amelia Liana talk about the palette 
in I think two of her videos, two of her recent videos, so I'm excited about this. Sarah says that they're also beautiful eyeshadows. The colors are perfect for that signature neutral golden smoky eye. When I swatched these, I was in shock at how buttery and pigmented they are. They almost rival Lorac's shadows. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm incredibly impressed and this is a great palette to throw in your handbag when you're on the go. So the palette looks like this. It has a little like cardboard like packaging so pretty standard for a eyeshadow palette but it's nice and compact so it is pretty good for traveling and I do travel quite often. So okay I'm gonna take out this because I'm never gonna use this. <laughs> the colors look like that and ooh. Oh my god, I am digging this palette. It's just colors I would wear. So should we swatch all of them? I don't even know. Do I have the time to do that? Eh, yeah, I do. Okay, let's swatch them all. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh my god, I'm running out of fingers. I'm running out of fingers. Okay, I'm not going to swatch the black one, but we have five shades right here. They're pretty soft, really pigmented. I could have done a better job in the middle finger. I'm sorry, I don't want to flip you off. There we go. Beautiful shadows. Let's swatch them. Oh my god, my co-worker's gonna be like, what were you doing? What were you doing? I'm gonna be like, uh, swatching? <laughs> so the colors are right here. No primer, no nothing. Pretty damn impressed. I am excited about this. And oh my god, this shade. This shade has my name written all over it. It looks like a beautiful it kind of, it, it's like a taupey shade, but a little bit warmer than usual. So I am looking forward to trying this out tomorrow. Like I said, with all the other, you're probably, it's like a broken disc. I'm excited to try this tomorrow. I'm I am excited. <laughs> And the last thing in my box is actually something that I meant to share with my boyfriend Orlando. It's food related, that's why. Because <laughs> I can't be sharing eyeshadows with him. That would be a little weird. Oh my god, and he would get an allergic reaction too, which would not be good. <laughs> so I have a lot of goodies right here. A lot of them. So some are for me, some are for Orlando. So Orlando, what am I? Orlando, there you go. <laughs> Okay, we have Kinder Buenos. Oh, and these are good. I remember trying them in France, so these are good. And we do sell Kinder in Mexico, but they're not these kinds, they're the, the eggs. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited about these. I'm excited about these two. Oh, yeah. These two. Oh, my God. And then we have Milky Way. And we do have Milky Way here, but I think this, this looks completely different to the American one. So... Yeah, I'm going to have to try it out and see what this is all about. Then we have Chomp, which is from Cadbury. I've never seen or heard about these before. And then we have Fudge, which is also from Cadbury. I've never tried this either. So I think I'm going to have to take these along with me when I go see him on Friday. And then we're going to try it together. I'm probably going to end up on the vlog. So if you want to see our reactions, just watch my vlog. Link is down below. And that's basically it for Sarah's package. I hope you enjoyed all the things I sent you. As I said, I will leave her blog post down below so you can check out what I sent Sarah. And thank you so, so much for everything. I love, I, I cannot wait to try out everything. Like I said, I am trying everything out tomorrow because I'm that, I'm that serious. This is my serious look right here. I am serious. So I hope you enjoyed your package and for you, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you tried any of the products that Sarah sent me, if you tried the chocolate or the eyeshadows or I don't know, the fudge. <laughs> so let me know in the comments below if you tried anything or if you would like to try out anything. So I will leave you guys now because I have to go to work. Yeah, I do. I have to go to work. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye! <laughs>